Hello and welcome everyone. So, as you can see, we have our jewel rocket here. Um, yeah, time to build a satellite. This is one thing I think I haven't done in this game. And, uh, well, at least on camera, I should say, I've never actually gotten around to build building any kind of satellite. And I just haven't really had any interest in a sense to just do it. I don't know why, I just, it hasn't really been, you know, my, um, you know, there really wasn't any part of the game that I actually thought was kind of a fun thing to do, was building satellites. Now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna build any ordinary satellites, um, I kinda wanna go for something a little different. I want to make something that, uh, is a little weird at least try to. I, I want to make something that's kind of like an ion-powered satellite or something along those lines. I'm not a hundred percent, but yeah. Let's let's get this thing built. Now, I, I don't really know satellite design at all or anything like that. I'm sure there's other people out there that build like amazingly awesome looking satellites and all I can say is good job because I have no like almost no interest sometimes in building satellites the satellite portion of this game don't get me wrong is kind of worthless in a sense a not not in a bad way but it's kind of like you know like if you can build something to get there you know wherever it is you're trying to reach um what's the point of sending a satellite if you can just fly there it, it's to me that kind of is the reason why more so than anything like I would rather send a man mission and try to gear myself around building a man mission instead of a uh, you know a robotic mission I guess to wherever it is I'm trying to go now the cool thing with this is maybe I'll be able to do something a little different um, you know maybe I'll be able to land this on like a moon or something you know if I get this thing out like towards jewel or something crazy like that now, um, I'm not really looking forward to uh, actually flying this thing all the way to Jewel. It might end up getting launched and staying in orbit, and maybe I'll find some other new purpose for it once it's out there. But, you know, for me, I, I just haven't really been, you know, I guess turned on, so to speak, towards the idea of building a, uh, a satellite. I, I just haven't had any... It, not not to mention, I just haven't really had any time. That's been one of my major things. It's like, I've been building all these huge rockets, and you guys have seen all my huge rockets and stuff like that I built. It's like, that one rocket will take like an entire day for me to build, or, you know, almost an entire day. And uh, it just gets down to the point where you're like, oh, I gotta do something else now. And, you know, waiting and all that other good stuff just kind of isn't my thing with this game sometimes. Now, if you guys don't know when it comes to satellite launches, uh, to, to, you know, I remember my first satellite launch that I did do around uh, Minmus, but that was way off camera and that was way before I knew even how to play this game. If you guys don't know about satellite launches, when it comes down to these uh, decouplers, these blue ones are don't have any, I guess, like explosives in them or anything like that. Where this stack decoupler has, yeah, well, it says right in the description, an explosive charge that will sever structural linkage between itself and whatever it's connected to. Basically, that is made to push these, like when it's in space, to push these two things away from each other. This, on the other hand, does not do that. All it does is just separate. And the reason for that is, is when you launch something like a satellite, this, um, you know, this huge satellite, or this little tiny thing, you know, if you use a stack decoupler, this huge one like this, it's going to end up, if you get it to like a perfect orbit, it's going to end up pushing it out of orbit, which is not a good thing. And speaking of which, I totally forgot to add something. And now the game wants to add more. I gotta reattach this again. I totally forgot to add this. I was gonna put a little 
I was going to put a smaller version of the crew module that's underneath it on there. This is the one part of the game when it comes down to designing that kind of gets me angry. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the one thing I guess I should have done a while ago. Um, yeah, so let's get this uh, smaller crew module kind of... Well, not a crew module, but it's a service module. Can I fit it in there? Yeah, there we go. And uh, I'm going to need a little fuel. There we go. That's that's good enough. We need an engine, too. I'm being crazy right now. Uh, yeah. Now, with, with the satellite, too, because of this payload, it's so small. And you guys are probably laughing that I'm using this really small engine. Uh, you know, you don't really need a lot. Once, especially once you're in orbit, it's not a big deal. I'm going to put some... Some of the good old stuff right here. Yes, that's that's very nice. Now, did I leave a... Uh, no, I did not. Hmm. The one thing I always get hung up on when adding... I, I guess... Putting it right here. I always hate the way these look. They really need a small version of this for a satellite. But I'm pretty sure they... I don't know if they'll add that or not. Because I know a lot of people will be using it on rockets and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to see. Um, what of them? It usually shows the uh, torque. I guess that's just on this one. I, I don't know. So, yeah. Let's see if... Uh, this thing should be working pretty well probably some staging issues already and the staging issue number one yep there we go now um we want this to separate right there and we need our engine which is right there to start so yeah that works and then afterwards this thing's gonna go I think it should be that one Trying to find this part now. Oh, there it is. So this part goes up here. And... Hmm. I think this will go up here. Yeah, that works. So one thing I will say, too. With um, constructing like a satellite like this, or at least with these ion engines, you have to realize that these solar panels... Um, Basically, when it comes down to when they're collecting, you know, in, in space, this thing tops out at 18, I believe, or if they haven't changed it or something. Yeah, 18. So basically, four panels should power five uh, engines, roughly, uh, on paper. That's as long as you can get, uh, you know, enough power and everything else. But this thing should really end up taking off very well. Another thing I could do is change the staging on these slightly. And I'm not going to do that this episode or probably ever. Because I don't really want to set up that right now. But basically it will burn from this tank and then this tank and then the center tank. And you do that all the way around and you can end up achieving like way more lift especially on it's for it's better for small payloads but for big ones it's better to have more engines burning at the same time so yeah now um hmm i could put yeah why not you know if anything if i end up taking this to another planet or something i can always land i guess you know like that's that's always a good thing to add and i might as well put some Sciency tools on here. You know, put some antennas. Let's get an antenna here. And a satellite dish right next to it. Kind of like that on the side. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm never good at doing design for these things. I, I just, I never really have patience. I think I'll put this down here more so. Yeah, that, that's better. I just never really have the patience for uh, uh, ion engines, and uh, I don't really have the patience for, um, you know, 
like basically a lot of parts of this game that are kind of a part of the game it, it it's just kind of annoying to me in a sense with uh iron ninjas and how slow they actually are it's just kind of it like i would rather i don't even know i i honestly don't know i think i'd rather watch water evaporate off the sidewalk than watch an ion engine hmm where to put this thing I guess right here yeah what was I thinking there we go put this one over here and I guess I should have put a little bit of battery on this thing too um, that will be right here just put a small battery don't need a lot and there we go it's like basically the best satellite I think I've ever built now if you want to get really fancy I like adding these even though it really doesn't serve any purpose but you know putting some uh, struts on it oh yeah it wasn't um, yeah there we go I don't know I like adding these sometimes it's just you know it, I think it makes it look a little bit better with, with certain things but always in like kind of moderation and you know that once again stems down to looks over actual functionality and uh, you know I, I kind of like the idea but you know these I think I'm gonna take off I, I'm probably gonna put um, maybe a few more solar panels on this thing because I, I don't feel comfortable with the amount of solar panels it has I'll probably put the uh, smaller ones I think these are the rectangle ones put four of these and try to get them closer to the top there we go actually I'll put these more on an angle and that's just in case if the Sun is behind us I'll still be able to get some power from right in this open area that's the one part about solar panels that's kind of annoying as well and I think I'll throw on just for fun you know one or two of these uh, these things actually come in really big handy I don't know if any of you guys really use these but uh, these things basically save my rovers from dying on almost permanent basis along with um, when I do those huge mega launches I usually on the um, somewhere on the module or on the uh, on the uh, crew the crew module kind of you know service module this thing um, I usually end up slapping a few of those things on there and when you do when you do a build like that it will keep the batteries from dying which is like amazing so yeah is there anything else I can throw on to this thing I just kind of want to pack on all the things I'll put a ladder on it just just for fun uh, hmm now if this thing lands on certain moons it probably won't be able to leave the moon again Not unless if I take it to like the jewel moons I, I forgot the name of which one it is but yeah basically you don't even need um, any like fuel is like like nothing there so maybe I'll put some landing legs on it since I kinda neglected to do that too so four of them on there or something three of them is it no no it doesn't like three of them so four of them doesn't like four of them either I oh yeah it's probably from these things I'll put this aside for now and let's get some legs on it let's get some sexy legs on it oh too many legs too many legs yeah yeah that, that's I think that should be good I, I hope that this thing doesn't get destroyed I mean I should say the legs get destroyed from the weight of the spacecraft but I'll slap this thing on here on the side you know I, if I'm gonna launch a satellite I might as well put like every bell and whistle I can possibly pack onto this thing that's the way I see it because I just don't really have any fun with satellites anymore so 
yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I, I named it Satellite 1. I really don't know what to name it. I guess I could call it, like, the Voyager or Explorer or something silly like that, but I, I, I really suck at naming stuff. So it's going to be Satellite 1 until somebody can give me a name for it. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.